Welcome viewers, today on TV Box Top, I feature the second release to the X3 Pro from my previous video that was built on the Amlogic S905 X3 chipset. This new model is called the X4 Pro and it runs on the new Amlogic S905 X4 chipset. This model comes with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. It runs on Android 10 operating system and has the same body and RGB lighting from its previous model. So up next, you have my usual full review with live demonstrations, so stay tuned, you have that right after a quick unboxing. Welcome back. In the box, you have the usual stuff. You get the new X4 Pro TV box itself. You get one IR remote control, one HDMI cable, a 5 volts, 2 amps DC power adapter, and a user manual. Its design consists of a plastic housing with the RGB lighting system to the top, and in similar fashion to the X3 model, it also has some weight to it, which means that there is probably a good size heatsink on the inside. To the rear of the box, you have one HDMI 2.1 port, one RJ45 100 megabits per second non gigabit LAN port, one optical audio port, one AV port with a reset button on the inside and the DC power input. To one side, you have one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0, and a micro SD card reader. At the front, you have an LED display. And below the box, you have lots of ventilation holes. So I will now set this up on my 4K TV and a capture card and continue. So I'm back and when you start up the box, you have the standard Android boot up animation followed by the launcher. This launcher is different from the one used in the X3 Pro model and we have seen this one used in the A95X models and that's no surprise seeing that it's developed by the same manufacturers of A95X. This launcher does not have a navigation bar or a status bar for easy navigating with mouse pointers. It has a cleanup memory feature and a custom wallpaper app. This firmware has the following key features. Firstly, it's running on Android 10Q operating system. It has 4K 2160p display up to 59.9Hz only. It has HDR display along with an HDR switch. It has HDMI CEC options. It has audio output options and digital surround sound audio options. This model does not have a root switch, built-in screen rotation, hardware monitor, sample server settings, or a navigation bar and status bar settings. In the app section, these are the apps that come pre-installed. So I will install all the additional apps needed to complete my review and I'll start with a look at its system and hardware information. So this is the Ada64 app and it shows that the manufacturer is Droid Logic and it has 4GB of RAM which is a DDR3 memory and it has 32GB of internal storage and this is the remainder. The Bluetooth version is 5.0. Its CPU, the Amlogic S905X4, is a 64-bit quad-core Cortex-A55 CPU clocked at 1.8 GHz, configured in 32-bit mode with support for only 32-bit ABIs. This means that it's a 32-bit operating system and it can only run 32-bit applications. Its display is powered by the Mali G31 GPU with open GLES version 3.2 support. Under network, it shows that it's currently connected to my 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band and it shows that the 5 GHz band is supported. Under Android, it shows that the operating system is Android 10 and it shows that the box is rooted, but that's incorrect as I will show you in a moment. Under devices, it shows that it has Vulkan support and this is Vulkan version 1.1. Under temperature, it shows that the box's normal operating temperature is around 55 to 60 degrees Celsius 
and this can climb into the 70s when 3D gaming, as we'll see later in the video. Under Codex, it has all the decoders for the playback of 4K videos with HDR and AV1 format. And it also has decoders for digital audio such as Dolby Atmos and DTS Audio. So that's its system and hardware information, let's now take a look at its benchmarks. First, the results of the A1 SD Bench app that measures RAM copy speed and internal storage read and write speeds. The results show that the new X4 Pro has a RAM copy speed of 3008 megabytes per second. Its internal storage has a read speed of 79 megabytes per second and also a write speed of 79. These scores are not high scores and they are not much different from the S905 X3 models. Next, I have the results of the Ookla speed test that measures the speed of its Wi-Fi bands and Ethernet LAN port. On my 150 megabits per second network, only the 5 GHz band achieved the maximum bandwidth. The 2.4 GHz band achieved 62% and the LAN port also achieved 62%. So for maximum bandwidth, if you have a network that's over 100 megabits per second, would be the 5 gigahertz band. This test also confirms that the LAN port is not a gigabit LAN port. Next is the result of the Antutu benchmark, the benchmark that I use as a reference to place boxes on my rankings chart due to its comprehensive testing of all the boxes systems and hardware. In this test, the box scored 79,719. This score is an average score, not very high and not too low at the same time, so we shall see in a moment where it places on the rankings chart. Next are the results of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark. In this test, it scored 781 single core and 2258 multi core. These scores are not too bad and they are consistent with other S905X4 models. The final results are from the 3 d Marker Gamers Bench Graphics Benchmark. In this test, it confirms that the X4 Pro has Vulkan support that qualifies it for the Slingshot Extreme test. And the results show that it scored 5,832 in the Ice Storm Extreme test, 577 in the Slingshot test, and 371 in the Slingshot Extreme test with Vulkan support. These scores are slightly higher than what you would get on S905 X3 models and it should result in some decent 3D gaming. And that's the last of the benchmarks, let's now see where it places on my rankings chart. So this is my TV box rankings chart consisting of TV boxes for 2020 and 2021. And after entering the scores from the X4 Pro, it ranked at position 30 using the Antutu benchmark score as a reference. It also received a 2 star rating based on what I believe the firmware is lacking. The 2 stars account for its design and hardware specs. If you would like to check out the latest TV boxes between 2020 and 2021, you can view this chart on my blog in full spreadsheet format where you can compare specs and various features of these boxes to help you decide which TV box is right for you. The link to this chart can be found in the description below this video. When it comes to entertainment, there are a couple of things people look for in a TV box that they consider to be critical features. One such feature is a box's ability to play premium streaming services such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and Disney Plus in HD and 4K quality. However, in order for a TV box to deliver such features, it must have the required certification from Google and in some cases individual certification from the service provider themselves. When it comes to Netflix, Netflix requires a box to be Google certified with Google Wide Vine Level 1 with HDCP protection which will protect their service from piracy. Also, the box needs to be certified by Netflix via their ESN certification that will allow the box to play in HD and 4K. Without these requirements, Netflix will restrict their service to basic or standard quality regardless if you are paying for a premium 4K account. The X4 Pro only has Google Widevine Level 3 with no HDCP protection and it does not have Netflix ESN certification. This means that it can only play Netflix in standard quality. The same would apply for other services such as Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Sling TV, Hulu, HBO Max and many others. 
Another feature, not so critical but just as important to some, is the inclusion of a root switch. This allows a user to switch root access on or off as they so choose and will allow them to use specialized apps that require root access or not. The X4 Pro does not have root access, which means apps that require your box to be rooted will not work. However, for those who like to use mirroring apps and gamepad key mapping apps will be disappointed to know that this box does not have a root switch. So popular apps such as the Panda key mapping apps will not activate because it cannot detect root access. A box's ability to play 4K videos on YouTube has become standard and works on almost every TV box these days. YouTube in 4K also comes in very handy when viewing trailers from your popular streaming APKs, and once you have the right version, you can also get HDR quality. The X4 Pro comes pre-installed with the right version, so here I'm playing a 4K video that has HDR format and the HDR feature triggers on my TV. There are also these minor features that some users look forward to. I'm speaking about features such as mobile screencasting, alternative launchers, custom wallpapers, and some even a value screen rotation. The X4 Pro does not come with the official version of Miracast, but you can use the Air Screen app that comes pre-installed, just that it's not in HD quality. You can use alternative launchers and custom wallpapers if you like to personalize your TV box experience. And for those who value screen rotation, which is mostly used for digital signage on vertical displays, I'm happy to report that it supports screen rotation. Another critical feature in addition to streaming movies and TV shows is the playback of 4K videos in HDR format and unique to S905X4 models is the playback of the new AV1 video format. As shown in the system and hardware information under Codex, the X4 Pro comes equipped with the decoders for the playback of 4K videos in HDR format and videos with AV1 format. So I'll now play my list of videos, first my 4K HDR videos, then the videos in AV1 format. And only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico. But the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the Camp Nou.
So I played these videos using the VLC player with hardware acceleration in the settings area set to full and the videos played smoothly without issues. And even though you can't see it because I'm using a capture card, the HDR feature icon was activated on my TV during the playback. As I now attempt to play the videos with AV1 formatting, I cannot use the VLC player as it does not have the AV1 decoders to do so. Instead, I'll be using the MX player that is known to have such decoders. This is Dolby Cinema. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This. So the videos in AV1 format via the MX player played smoothly and some of them also has a digital surround sound audio. And speaking about surround sound audio, I will now play my list of videos with various digital surround sound formats such as Dolby Atmos and DTS Audio. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you.
connected in HDMI pass-through configuration, the box outputs Dolby Atmos, DTSX, HD Master Audio, and THX. The only digital format it could not output was Dolby QHD. Now, there is a topic that has been generating some debate in the comments surrounding digital audio, and that is the issue of whether you can get Dolby Atmos and DTS audio via the optical audio port. Well, today I have a special segment to confirm whether this is so. And to prove this, I will connect the HDMI cable directly to the TV, and the optical audio cable will go directly to the receiver. So there is no HDMI cable whatsoever passing through the receiver. So whatever the receiver is detecting is 100% via optical audio. And I will now perform the same audio test. This is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With With no HDMI cables connected to the receiver, the X4 Pro transmitted Dolby Atmos, DTSX, HD Master Audio, Dolby Surround, and a THX. And in similar fashion to the HDMI pass-through test, it could not output Dolby through HD. So from this test, could the sound engineers that follow my channel guide me as to what's happening in this test? As the claim was that you cannot get Dolby Atmos and other digital audio formats via optical audio. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. At the point of making this video, those of you looking forward to using Coalec on these new S905 X4 boxes would have to wait a bit longer as Coalec has not yet announced any device trees or DDBs as they are also called. This would also affect users that are interested in Linux operating systems as they are also dependent on DDBs. For my final demonstration, I will connect my gamepad via Bluetooth and play some Android games to test its graphics rendering and to monitor its heat levels during gaming. 
Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Bradley with the ball. Outside, Green. From deep. Blocked. One-on-one, -on -one fast break. Lavert. Pass to Harris. Now here's Allen. Takes the three. JaVale McGee grabs the miss. You can't get into much better position for the three than that. Everything was right on target. It just didn't fall. Here's Davis. LeBron James on the win. Back to Davis. Shoots. A nice shot by LeBron. So for gaming performance, the X4 Pro has smooth graphics that's of a high quality and its temperature remained in the high 70s, which isn't ideal but can be improved with some active cooling such as a cooling fan. But this is just for those who are interested in gaming. Its temperature remains between 55 and 65 degrees Celsius on normal operation. As for gamepad key mapping, the box is not rooted. So the only gamepad key mapping app that works on this box will be the Octopus key mapper. In summary, having new features such as AV1 format and RGB lighting is about new as it gets with this box, and not having your standard features such as navigation bar and status bar and root access can be a bit frustrating to your TV box experience. However, with that said, this box does run on Android 10 OS. It has the new Amlogic S905X4 chipset clocked at 1.8 GHz. It has Vulkan support and it streams movies and TV shows without issues. And it has great gaming performance. And with that said, I've come to the end of my review. Thanks goes out to SZBox for sending this model for today's review. They are not the manufacturers, but they do have it at an affordable price on their online stores. And they also provide discount coupons for those looking for a great deal on this model. So see the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video the thumbs up if the information contained in this video was of value. If you like these videos and would like to see more, then hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving to join this channel to receive notifications via email every time I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. And as always, thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch my videos and for your continued support. Stay tuned and I'll be seeing you in the next one.